50,000 years ago, humans became seafarers, proof of their abstract thinking and planning depth. Soon, Near Eastern humans arrived in North Africa. In the meantime, Denisovans made sewing needles. Also, one group of humans migrated north to the steppes of Central Asia. 2,000 years later, Cro-Magnons, the European descendants of humans, made Bohunitian tools, similar to Emerin in Levant. At the same time, humans who settled in the Fahin Lina cave, in Sri Lanka, used bows and arrows. After 1,000 years, humans settled in the Taban Caves, in the Philippines. Another 1,000 years later, the Amarian culture in Levant made elongated blades with some curves. Not long after, hunter-gatherers reached Tam Pa Ling Cave in the Annamite Mountains. Within 500 years, people made cave paintings depicting life-size pigs, in the Liang Tadong Cave in Indonesia. After around 500 years, humans populated Central Asia. Meanwhile, Aboriginal Australians, who descended from Eastern Eurasians, spread to the Cranebrook Terraces. Around the same time, the Eleusian culture of Homo sapiens who settled in Italy, made and used beads from shells of marine mollusks. Soon, hunter-gatherers inhabited the Perth area. In the meantime, humans expanded northward into western Siberia, reaching the Irtysh River. 2,000 years later, the Aurignacians made pendants, bracelets, blades from prepared cores, and produced cave art. They also made flutes carved from bird bone and mammoth ivory, that were able to play distinct melodies. Music was an integral part of the societies. Within 1,000 years, Cormusins developed tools not only from stone and animal bones, but also from hematite. At the same time, humans arrived in the New Guinea island. Not long after, humans made fish hooks in the Jeremalai cave, on the Timor island. 1,000 years later, East Asians spread up to the Tianyuan cave area. After another 1,000 years, humans have arrived on the island of Tasmania. Meanwhile, Australo-Melanesians were the first people to inhabit the Maluku Islands. Around the same time, Homo sapiens settled near Lake Mungo. Soon, humans reached Mamontovaya Kuria, in the European-Russian Arctic. Within 2,000 years, the Baradoshchen culture produced blades and bladelets using soft hammer from single-platform prismatic cores. Around 1,000 years later, Aboriginal Australians and Papuans diverged from each other. After 1,000 years, Paleo-Siberian peoples diverged from ancient East Asians and expanded northwards into Siberia. Within another 1,000 years, Homo sapiens arrived at Kent's Cavern, in England. In the meanwhile, from the Emerin culture evolved the Levantine Aurignacian, who made narrow blade points and carvings of animals with ochre painting. Also, the Aurignacians made statuettes of animals and figurines of women from mammoth tusks. 1,000 years later, dyed fibers, made from wild flax, and textile-like materials were made in caves in Georgia. After around 1,000 years, Gravettians have developed blunted back knives and tanged arrowheads, but clubs, stones and sticks were still the primary hunting tools. They lived in caves or semi-subterranean or rounded dwellings which were typically arranged like small villages. Within 1,000 years, stones attached to sticks with strips of leather or animal sinew were being used as hammers with handles. Not long after, humans have spread to Japan. Meanwhile, ancient North Siberians, relatives of West Eurasian hunter-gatherers, settled the Yana rhinoceros horn. 2,000 years later, Homo sapiens populated the Tibetan Plateau. Around the same time, 
the Bismarck and Solomon's Islands were inhabited by people coming from the New Guinea. Soon, hunter-gatherers in Poland made boomerangs from mammoth tusks. In the meantime, Neanderthals faced extinction. Homo sapiens are now the only surviving hominidians on the planet. Also, Aboriginal Australians settled in Alice Springs. Within 1,000 years, the Gravedians hunted mammoths for meat, fat, hides for tents and large bones and tusks for building winter shelters. Some 2,000 years later, the weavers produced a variety of cordage types, like woven nets, plated basketry and sophisticated twined and plain woven cloth. At the same time, many Venus figurines were made of fired clay in Europe. After 500 years, northern Europe was largely covered by ice, with ice sheets passing through Germany and Poland. The last ice age is now in full swing. Around 1,500 years later, Paleo-Indians from Siberia have crossed into the Americas across the Beringia Land Bridge, following herds of large animals along ice-free corridors. Not long after, the Australians cremated their dead. Meanwhile, people made very large engravings in the Cusack Cave, with stone tools on the walls, or with fingers on clay soil. Within 1,000 years, ancient North Eurasians were early West Eurasians who mixed with East Asians, and some evolved lighter skin tones and blonde hair. Around the same time, the Maltha people on the Angara River built semi-subterranean houses using large animal bones for the walls, and reindeer antlers covered with animal skins for the roof. They gave symbolic meaning to the serpent, the labyrinth, the sunbird, the shaman flight, the rebirth and the goddess, as mother of man's second birth, protectress of the hearth, and lady of wild things. After 1,000 years, the Keberin were a highly mobile nomadic population of hunters and gatherers, who made microlithic tools. They used stone mortars and pestles to crush wild grains and other plant material. Also, the Mekta Afilu made Iberomorusian tools, with backed stone bladelets. Within 600 years, humans made fish hooks from sea snail shells in the Sakatari Cave in the Okinawa island of Japan. Another 400 years later, in the final Gravedian, the Salutrian backed edge blades were long and narrow. At the same time, the Halfin people made Halfa flakes, backed microflakes, backed microblades, and a multitude of rock paintings. After 2,000 years, Veradoshchans were followed by the Zarzians, who manufactured microliths, and extended north into Gobustan and into eastern Iran. Not long after, indigenous Australians painted with their fingers thousands of square meters in the Kunalda cave in lines and patterns. Meanwhile, the Gravedians made woven fishnets. Around the same time, southern ancestral East Asians spoke an early Austroasiatic language. Soon, during the Ice Age, Atyrian hunter-gatherers migrated into tropical and coastal Africa, due to the hyper-aridification of the Sahara.